Our next speaker I'm super proud to announce. She is only 12 years old. She has already started receiving scholarship money for her activism. She is the equal rights advocate for the Tri-State Freethinkers. And my daughter, please give it up for Kelly Helton. Some of my past teachers, when talking about the Big Bang Theory and evolution, have told us these are just theories and we can believe what we want. How can you teach something that you don't even understand? If you are a teacher, here are some of the things that we want to learn. The Earth is over 4.5 billion years old, and it's not flat either. We want to learn evolution from Richard Dawkins and Charles Darwin, not Ken Ham. We want to get our vaccination information from places like Children's Hospital, not Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> Exemptions for public schools should be based on your medical history and not your beliefs. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson says, the good thing about science, it is true, whether or not you believe in it. When it comes to sex education, we want medically and scientifically accurate information. You cannot, t you cannot teach us about sex by telling us not to have it. Why do people think that educating us is harmful? Humans are the main reason for climate change. Bringing a snowball to the Senate floor during winter does not disprove climate change. We cannot work on our solutions to our problems until we agree on the facts. The scientific method is the best method we have. Once you try bringing the supernatural into the equation, it is no longer science. We want science and we want it now. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Science. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Science. When do we want it? Now. Carl Sagan once said, I don't want to believe, I want to know. We want to get our science information from scientists. We do not want your agenda. We do not want your politics. We do not want your beliefs. We want unadulterated science. We need science from our scientists, not silence. I like to quote my friend Bill Nye the Science Guy. Science is the key to the future. And if you do not believe in science, you're holding everyone else back. The oceans are rising, and so shall we. Welcome to the resistance! Yeah. 